Okay, so let's see how this homework fits into the big picture here. Okay, in the first iteration, okay, we start with k being zero. And for that vector, what we really do is we don't execute this particular loop at all. We go directly to the computation of its length, and then we can overwrite a k with the vector, sorry, a zero with the vector q0. So really what happens is at the end of the first iteration we have q0 sitting right here. Okay. In the next iteration we go through and now we actually do compute this entry of r right here and then we do subtract off this component right here. So at the end of this loop we have this minus rho 0 1 times q0 sitting in the second column of A. Okay. At that point, that actually is the component orthogonal to q0, so that's all good. Then we compute its um, length, so that computes this entry in R right here, and then we overwrite that column with the final result so that at that point, this here equals q1. So far, so good. Okay, back to the top of the loop. Now we look at the next column of A. What do we do? In the first iteration of this, we subtract off, um, we compute row 0, 2, and we then use that to subtract off the component in the direction of q0. But notice that in the next iteration, then, we don't look at the dot product of q1 with a2. We instead look at the dot product of q1 with this updated vector here. But what you notice is that the dot product of q1 with q0 is 0, and therefore it actually computes the exact same value, at least in exact arithmetic, as you would have wanted, which was q1 the dot product with q2 with a2 okay and that then allows us to compute the next entry uh, actually in the second row here okay then we subtract it off and at that point we will have subtracted off q12 times q1 that then is the component that is orthogonal to q0 q1 so that's good we compute its length and we subtract that length, uh, we divide by that length, and at that point we have q2 sitting in the second column. And then we move on. Okay. Now this particular variation on Gram-Schmidt is known as the modified Gram-Schmidt method algorithm, people call it different things. Okay. Also known as modified Gram-Schmidt. Okay.